What is Euro 7? I'm Phil Curry here with another entry into Autobusy 24's What Is series. And if you've ever wondered about some automotive terms and what they mean, check out the What Is playlist on the Autobusy 24 YouTube channel. While there, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you never miss another entry and stay up to date with the latest news and features. The Euro standards are a set of emissions regulations that car makers selling vehicles in Europe have to abide by. These standards set the maximum level of emissions a vehicle could produce before it could be approved for sale via type approval. Typically, these are exhaust emissions, such as carbon monoxides, nitrogen oxides, hydrocarbons, and particulate matter. This last one is crucial for Euro 7, and more of that in a moment. Notably, Euro standards do not regulate CO2 emissions. These are subject to their own European legislations. Until recently, there were different standards for cars and vans and for buses and heavy trucks, denoted by a number for the former and Roman numerals for the latter. Euro 7 is the first to integrate both sectors into one set of regulations. It's also the first new Euro standard since the Dieselgate scandal of 2015. While many believed it would spell the end of new petrol and diesel vehicle sales in Europe, this is being covered under new legislation by the European Union for 2035. Instead, the aim of Euro 7 is to further reduce harmful pollutants from vehicles, especially those that remain part of Europe's car park long after this ban has been introduced. It covers all fuel types equally, including electric vehicles. So what are the stats? The EU hopes that Euro 7 will see nitrogen oxide emissions reduced by 35% from cars and vans and 56% from buses and lorries. Alongside this, there should be a 13% reduction of particles from the tailpipes of cars and vans and 39% from buses and lorries. When it comes to particulate matter, Euro 7 is the first emission standard to move beyond the tailpipe. It covers emissions from brakes and tyres, both of which can produce particulate matter that is just as dangerous as soot and particulates from the tailpipe. The new regulations are expected to reduce this type of particulate by 27%. This will apply especially to electric vehicles which are heavier and therefore put more strain and therefore wear on the tyres. The European Commission believes these emission reductions can be achieved with existing technologies, a moderate impact on the cost of cars between 90 and 150 euros and buses and lorries of around 2,600 euros is expected. The emissions reductions will be achieved by ensuring more effective emissions tests carrying out digital monitoring of vehicle compliance, including utilising sensors to ensure no cheat software is used, and by improving market surveillance. Compliance checks will also be extended. Currently, durability checks for Euro 6 means vehicles can be checked up to 100,000 kilometres or five years of age. This will be doubled for Euro 7. Emissions limits will be tightened for lorries and buses, while the lowest existing limits for cars and vans will now apply, regardless of the fuel used by the vehicle. The new rules will regulate the durability of batteries installed in electric cars and vans in order to increase consumer confidence. This will also reduce the need for replacing batteries early in the life of a vehicle, and therefore reducing the need for critical raw materials required to produce these batteries, another environmental gain. The Euro 7 standards have not been met with universal approval. ASEA, the European Automobile Manufacturers Association, states that current Euro 6 environmental gains are being held back by the proportion of older vehicles on European roads, and therefore Euro 7 would only deliver a reduction in nitrogen oxide emissions of 4% in cars and vans and just 2% in trucks, unless older vehicles are tackled as well. ASEA believes in continuing Euro 6 regulations until the vast majority of vehicles in Europe are covered by this legislation. It states that if it were to continue on to 2035, there could be an 80% reduction in nitrogen oxide emissions when compared to 2020 levels. The Euro 7 legislation currently sits with the European Parliament, with a report from the Committee on the Environment, Public Health and Food Safety due around mid-June. Euro 7 is just one of the automotive terms covered by the Autobista 24 What Is series. You can find the full playlist on our YouTube channel. You can also keep up to date with the latest news and automotive analytics on autobista24.com and sign up to our free daily email. 
bringing the best automotive developments to your inbox every morning. Thanks for watching.